Make no mistake, they know. Who is they? Governments, the World Economic Forum, secret societies, powerful interests. What do they know? That the sun is going to take away our modern comforts in a great blast. That the auroral displays getting more extreme is a sign of Earth's vulnerability as the magnetic field weakens in the ongoing excursion and pole shift. And that the polar regions will become new, habitable lands full of secrets from previous ages of Earth. They know that as the magnetic field enters the full excursion sequence, the radiation bombardment and climate impact will be disastrous, that great waves will attack the continents as the oceans invade the land, and that the sights in the sky will steal our peace, civility, and herald the coming of the next age. Yes, they know, and they're getting ready. They have been for decades. For more on all of this, got a little homework for you. Two critical videos listed in the description box below the video, but right now, Let's re-watch the comedy video we put together about the arrogance and evil lack of empathy among the elites. No, it's not real, but the spirit of it is. We discuss enough scary stuff here, so why not have a couple laughs this evening? Enjoy. Here at the Breakaway Secret Space Society, we've decided to put your minds at ease and let you know what's really going on. We have been on Mars for some time. We have structures and technology you wouldn't believe. We don't need to take ships to and from our new home anymore when we visit Earth to conduct our affairs. We don't get sick and we age at a fraction of those of you on Earth. While you toil away believing whatever nonsense the governments and media tell you, you are like the greatest reality show for us as we watch from amongst the stars, literally. We are not only given superior treatments and nutrition, but bioamplifying technology and the most advanced suit technology until our geoengineering makes the air breathable up here. We know you may be concerned about our intentions, but rest assured, we know the earth is fucked, same as you do. We didn't want to be eaten when the chaos begins, and when nature throws her hat in the ring, we figured we'd rather be on the planet prepared to wake up again. We now have a fully working society. We use the base minerals of the planet and the most advanced plasma technologies, hundreds of years beyond what you have on Earth, and they're integrated with the crustal magnetic fields of Mars. We use them to easily transport to and from our orbiting suite, where the pleasures of humanity can still be enjoyed as much as possible for the delicate balance of mind. The automated assistants first unveiled on the suite are now also assisting in the mining and terraforming activities. Truly. There isn't much hard work left for the rest of us to do, but travel to the various sites around the planet. We can see hundreds of sites in a day. And of course, the most haunting for all of our elite guests is the first tragic attempt to send our vast resource hall back to Earth. We now use it as a remote terraforming laboratory. We've brought along top scientists to help us understand how our new world is behaving in light of our geoengineering. We recently also gained the ability to take our pets on walks around the dunes. We really are trying our best to keep our way of life going and to get a head start on the next age. We're going to begin our space interactions immediately after the coming event, and we're making preparations already, including stocking the ancient shelter under the Phobos monolith. As the Phobos portal has recently opened, we are now making careful calculations of orbit, solar wind interactions, surface charging, and elemental deposition, just to make sure our backup plan is rock solid. Why are we telling you this? Because it doesn't matter anymore. We're already up here. Nobody believes you anyway. Nobody listens to you. Good luck when you try to bring this up. But again, we wanted to assure you, humanity will live on, in us, because here at BASSS, we care about the future, just not yours.